Hello everybody, thank you for joining me on Chef Joey. Today I have an incredible show coming up for you. I'm back in Hawaii, so I want to make an island dish. And I'm going to make a macadamia nut crusted mahi-mahi with a delectable coconut Thai chili sauce. It is incredible. I'm going to pair that up with a savory brown rice pilaf. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these delicious blue Hawaiians. I'll see you in the kitchen. Making a blue Hawaiian cocktail is a cinch. Fill a cocktail glass with ice. Add about two shots of light rum. A little splash of some orange liqueur. Some pineapple juice. And some blue curacao. And then grab a straw, I just draw here, and then just stir that up. It's as simple as that. Take a nice sip off that. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so the coconut Thai chili sauce takes almost an hour or even more to cook. We're gonna add it into, their, into my sauce pot. We're gonna add equal parts of coconut milk. In this case, I'm only making a small batch, so I'm going to do about a half a cup of coconut milk. Uh, this, I have had to wait up to an hour and a half or even longer for this to reduce down. So, what you have is one half cup of coconut milk, a half cup of chicken broth, a half cup of heavy whipping cream, all go into your pot just like that and then last but not least a half cup of white wine so again that's equal parts of chicken broth white wine heavy whipping cream and coconut milk you put that into your sauce in your saucepan excuse me I'm gonna put this on the stove on medium high heat and I'm going to bring this up to a slow rolling boil, and then I'm going to reduce the heat down to just a simmer. I need to get this into a thick, rich, creamy coconut sauce. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of freshly chopped ginger, right in there like that, and about a teaspoon or maybe a medium-sized shallot, thinly sliced, goes right into the pot like that. And I'm going to give this a little stir. And I'm going to let that reduce. This could take, like I said, about an hour or more to get this to uh, reduce down. You want to slowly cook it. You don't want it to scorch. So I am going to let that simmer. Again, I'm going to bring it up to a boil, and then I'm going to let it simmer. So in the meantime, I'm going to go outside and enjoy my Blue Hawaiian cocktail. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how to make the fish and the... And the uh, uh, the brown rice pilaf, it's a cinch. Delicious. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Okay, we're back on the Chef Joey Show. I'm making macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi tonight with a savory brown rice pilaf. I always uh, cook my brown rice in vegetable broth instead of water or chicken broth. I really think that that brings out the flavor in the brown rice. So what I have is a wok here with about two tablespoons of coconut oil. And I've added about two cups of mushrooms and about one cup of green onions. And I'm sauteing both of those just until they're tender. They've been in here for about three minutes. And you want that on about medium high heat. And I'm going to turn my heat down. And then I'm going to add my brown rice. Uh, I usually cook about one cup of brown rice to about two cups or two and a half cups of vegetable broth. 
So I'm going to take my rice and put it right inside the wok, just like that. Kind of like a, like a fried rice. Uh, I didn't use all of that, but most of it. And then I'm going to toss this around. Get my vegetables all mixed in there nice. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh cracked pepper to this. Just a little bit of cracked pepper. And I'm just going to toss that around. And I've got my heat reduced. I'm going to let that sit on the stove top on low heat uh, just to keep it warm. It's okay if it uh, sits there and dries out a little bit. In the meantime, my sauce is just now starting to thicken up. Um, the next step with the sauce is I'm going to be adding a little bit of this delicious sweet Thai chili sauce. It's delicious and it's cheap too and it's great. Uh, this actually goes great on other stuff too. It's great for dipping. It's a dipping sauce. But uh, I'm going to be adding about, oh, about a tablespoon and a half of this right into the sauce as soon as that thickens up. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter to that as well. And uh, so for the fish now, you take your mahi mahi filet, lightly salted, lightly pepper both sides. I have about three eggs and I've added a little bit of coconut milk to this. You want to whip that up nice and good. And then on high, or actually medium high heat, on my stove top I've got about, again, two tablespoons of coconut oil. And once I get this fish dipped in flour first, then your egg, then what I have here is about a cup and a half of crushed macadamia nuts. Uh, anybody can make crush up the macadamia nuts. You just put them in a Ziploc baggie and take your uh, your mallet and just or your rolling pin or whatever you have, crush it up in the bag, just whack it until it's nice and uh, powdery. You're going to add equal parts, about a cup and a half, of panko breadcrumbs in a flat dish like this. So we're going to whip that up. And uh, the sauce has probably about 15 more minutes. So when I come back, I'm going to be frying this delectable macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi. I will see you shortly. Thank you. Okay, so to do the coconut crusted mahi mahi, you dip your lightly salted and lightly peppered mahi mahi filet in some flour. Okay, then we're going to dredge it in some egg and coconut milk. Then we are going to drop it in our macadamia nut and panko breadcrumb mixture and we are just going to toss that around in there. I actually kind of press it down a little bit and then flip it and just keep pressing until it's nice and well coated. And my coconut oil in my pan is nice and hot. You want this on at least medium to high heat. I usually tend to go on a higher heat just to get it uh, get that nice crust on there. So again I've got my coconut oil in my pan. I'm just going to Get that oil evenly across the pan, and I'm going to drop this right in here like this. And let me rinse my hands, and then we're going to work on our sauce, which is almost done. Okay, so the next step for the sauce is to add about a tablespoon and a half of this sweet Thai chili sauce. So pour it in your pan, in your saucepan, like that. And then we're going to add about a teaspoon of freshly chopped basil. So put that in there, and I got one tablespoon of butter that's going to drop in there also. And we're going to stir that up.
just until the butter is melted. And I am going to pan, uh, zoom in on this fish so you can see exactly what's going on here. I know it's hard to see on my camera, but uh, everything is going great. I'm going to uh, drizzle the Thai coconut or the coconut Thai chili sauce right over the fish, and I'm going to uh, drop that right on top of the rice, the brown rice pilaf. Okay, so gently turn your fish after about four to five minutes. And there you have that beautiful dark brown crust of macadamia nut and panko breadcrumbs. Again, be careful when you flip this. And if you need to add a little bit more oil, that's okay too. The macadamia nut and the panko will soak up the oil. Okay, I'm putting the finishing touches uh, back on my macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi with a coconut Thai chili sauce. The sauce is done. It looks absolutely delicious. And I'm going to plate this up for you and show you what I got. And I'm going to eat it and it's going to be delicious. So I'm going to take, uh, actually first of all, I'm going to take some of my rice pilaf, plate it up, just like that. Kind of leave a little room for the fish, and then you want to take your mahi mahi and just gently put it right on your plate like that. And then you're going to take your coconut Thai chili sauce, give it one last stir, and then just take the pot and take and drizzle that sauce right over the macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi. Just lightly drizzle it over there. And you want a little bit of this to kind of overflow onto your rice pilaf. And that is about it. And let me take a little bite here. Okay, so let me bring this up to the camera so I can show you. Okay, so here it is, the macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi. Look at how unbelievably delicious that looks. And I'm gonna take a little bite off of this. Mmm, absolutely delicious. The coconut Thai chili sauce really balances out the, uh, the nuttiness flavor, the nut flavor, and then the rice, a little bit salty, delicious, I taste the mushroom, I got a mushroom in there. Anyway, folks, thank you for joining me on the Chef Joey Show. I hope to see you very soon, and aloha until next time.